Oh, made it up. Congratulations. And now, let's wait for all the players and we shall start our final soon. Okay. <clears throat> so, again, Stato. May the best player wins. So Kennison, he has been our all-time player. He's been with us quite long. And then Rayshaw is the first time joining our tournaments. Okay, and now let's see that who will has the better and the upper and the best and better hand throughout this tournament, this match. Okay. And now we shall start with the red means that Kennison will have the first turn. Okay, so again he summon with the swap cleric. Link summons and he goes for the Link Disciple. Okay, so activate the effects, draw one, attack becomes zero. And then uh, now let's see what he has. Set one. Okay, he's go on with the Purple Knight 4. Okay, so activates this out and he will get one. Magnite to the hand. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see, he's getting the blue sky. Okay, good. So set another card. And then. It is too dangerous to put on the zero attack. Really? Okay, because I just want to say that it's too dangerous to put on the zero attack link side link disciple on the field because it's really dangerous. You know, it's like practically it's nothing at all. So he is activating the warning point. So he will stop whatever blue sky are doing, going to do. So there's a stop on the blue sky. Okay, it is good. So, there is something that can change. That's why there is a hang for so long. So, let's see what... Okay, Chainlink Tree, the World Legacy Memory. Okay. So, he will special summon now another Mag Knight. So, he will go on with the Purple Knight 4. Okay, so the purple nightfall can target one banish it and then add one mag knight to the head. So let's see whether he wants to activate the effects or not. If not, impossible. Okay, so the mag knight activates. He's targeting itself. Banish and draw one mag knight cards. Okay, he's going for the indigo eclipse. Okay, so what will he do after that? Summoning down the Indigo Eclipse in attack positions. Okay, once per turn, target one, move that to the main zone. Okay, so he's targeting, move. Okay, so set one, another yellow star, okay. So, with this, he can banish one Mag Knight, but it doesn't have any Mag Knights in the graveyard. So, apparently, that the effect not able to use, and he cannot destroy the back row. Too bad. And now, attack over. If this is a yes, then Kenison will lose. Apparently, he using the crackdown. Okay, so he's still link over the Indigo Eclipse. 3.1k directly towards the face and and turn. Due to what? Because of the warning point, blue sky cannot attack or being exiting or whatever shit. No. Okay, so we can see that now Kennison has the bot full again okay? with the 2.5, 2.4, and 2k monster on the field. So with a single beat down, it also will overcome the situations but now let's see that what Kennison is going to do now okay so that he has the yellow and has the red the thing that he need to do is to take out whatever back row he has okay because the back row is very dangerous so I think that he is trying to lure 
it will activate the morning the the war legacy secrets okay so now he active summon down the swap clerics combo link link disciple activate zero draw one additional free draw okay so that he needs in the situation that he want to force it to do something okay so he's going for the link galaxy eye decipher okay so he's going for the book of money ouch okay so we can see that Kennison still have a lot of hands that he can do with other combos but leaving a level uh attack zero link disciple on the field is really too dangerous uh, really not advisable for that and now is summoning down the yellow star i think it, it okay it is not a world legacy secrets wow i thought it is a secret that now currently is quite forcing it to activate okay so apparently it is a fake now what will it be okay summoning down the indigo blue the indigo eclipse Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then Okay, so he's going for a Ling to Salmon. Okay, so apparently this Ling to Salmon should be the morning star at night. Okay. Yes, out oh, getting the secrets. Okay, actually that this is the initial and the best startup combo where you have the morning star and all the magnite below it. And now the red moon, same color, banish you can target and destroy one cards with the same column. And the purple cells is quite self sufficient, banish it and get one magnite onto the head, into his head. Okay, he's getting the blue sky. Okay, so set that one, set two, and then tie that vine. Okay, apparently all the monster on the field is enough to slap everything clear off. Okay, attack 800 and 2.7 with the 300 HP left, not enough to OTK. So apparently they both is at a very comeback situation where Kennison has 900 and Ratio has only 300 HP left. Okay, so now both back and we have the blue sky. Okay, and the blue skies activates. He's getting the red. Okay, and he's getting the purple night four. So now what will it be? Okay, so he's going for a link to Morning Star. Okay, and then summoning down the Red Moon. The Red Moon activates out, oh, and he can destroy one cast on the field. And the Red Moon, okay, apparently, no. Sorry, activating the world legacy secrets with add whatever on the same column negates all. Okay, it negates everything. So, what? He still has something to change me. So I think that high chance is to spell the world legacy report or something. So negated the red moon. Okay. So summoning down the purple night four again. 
And now what? And if it will go for the beatdown. No, nope, it's going for the cipher. And CD. Oh. Compulsory evacuation device. Okay, so ah, uh, he's waiting for the particular moment to fling it back. And now end up with a morning star and with a red moon on the field. Actually, it's not so enough to kill whatever's on the field now. Not enough. So, ratio we need to think hard for this. So, what will he do and what will do? Now. Nothing and back to Kenny Sons. Okay. So flip down, flip back up with the Cypher Dragons. Okay. With this, it can destroy, but no, he's going for the rank up full armor photon. And he's going for the crackdown to steal over it. Damn. Okay, so this apparently is like the brainwash or the change of heart. Just that this one will need to wait one turn and pop the wings goes to Tennyson. <laughs> okay, so round two already start. Let's head in and see whether this will be the last round, final round. Okay. So again, Magnite versus Magnite. Let's go. Joe. Okay, so we start with a red turn means that ratio will start. And again, same we go in for the link disciple. Zero. Good. Okay, so we have the purple knight now. Purple knight banish and get for the indigo blue, indigo eclipse. For the world legacy memory special summon one in defense positions and he going now with the blue sky and then the blue skies will link to summon to the morning star good okay so out with that and we have the world legacy secrets set one and turn okay so actually it's quite good for the first turn and we have two set cards and we have the morning star okay so now let's see what they're going to do world legacy like secrets activates and he will bring back the eclipse and it negates the in uh, it negates the swap clerics no and without activating it it going for the link disciple Activates zero C one draw and what he going to do now? So apparently that Kennison has five cards on his hand, so that he still have a lot of combo to go with. Okay, so what will it be? Okay, so he's setting down the Indigo Eclipse face up. Okay. Indigo Eclipse activates. Target itself. And move the other zone. Okay. And now, what is it? Summoning down the blue sky. Okay. It can add one to the hand and it activating the world legacy memory. Okay, so he summoned down a defense position right in front of this. So it will negate the blue sky instead. No search, no adding cards. Okay, so now set one. Set one. Okay, so apparently, yes, they still going for the morning star. Okay, good.
So what is going to go from here? So okay, it's summoning down the purple four. Okay, so another red moon. Okay, so he choose not to activate any attacks but to just directly attack over whatever he has. So with these four monsters, he can totally wipe off everything on ratio field. So for nothing, no kill. Okay. If your magnet monster battle a monster with a different calling than it, your opponent cannot destroy. Also, take no better damage. Okay, so that is a waste, and I'm not so sure why it does that. But misplay or something, not sure. But still, Kennison will need to get back on hand, especially this this part. And now he choose the attack over the. Okay, what? And again, no, destroy. And Sonara. And back to Ratio. Now, okay, so the Indigo back onto the field and both back onto the field. So literally the whole thing towards this is on the game. Okay, so we're now going for the Eclipse. Now, let's see what's on the back row. Yes, he's going for the warning point. Good. This actually is quite like a staple card, like a CD warning point, uh, blackout. All this is currently most likely will be the staple that you all need. Okay, and CD is a very expensive staple card because it's on the super mini, if not mistaken. It has the selection box super mini, if not mistaken. Okay, never mind. So it's out and then back to the blue sky. And the purple eclipse will target itself to bring back shoo shoo out bye bye apparently okay so the world legacy secrets negates everything here and now with the red moon Summon down the red moon activates effect, banish one and destroy the morning stars. Okay, so destroy two. And this is how the best part is that it can destroy the whole column, means that the whole row two cards here will get slap out okay and now with the yellow stars and set one more card speed down and it is a kill since that Kenison not able to recover from this and now direct attack with the 2k and 3.2k direct attack so the second round wins goes to ratio so we officially will proceed to our third and final round. Okay. So set one on Kennison's and now back to ratio. Okay, so we have the swap cleric. Apparently, we can see that Kennison is now brick as it has nothing to do with his hand. Only can set out with the Book of Moon and now is flipping up down the swap clerics just to prevent it from advancing into link disciple and to draw one card okay so one card being flipped now and let's see what ratio will do in response for this okay so set one set two set three whoa we can see that actually ratio is also brick okay so we currently at the very brick 
round three now okay and now back to kenny Sons and now see what he can do okay apparently the same he's getting out this and flood gate ouch so now what's for kenny Sons? one is getting book of moon another is going burst is getting flood gate ouch okay so now what will it be what will it be so okay he's getting the world legacy memory and we summon down the purple knight four purple knight four out and he will get one magnite to the can okay in choosing the blue sky okay so now Ling Shokan, Ling Disciple, Ling One, Ling Disciple, draw one, reduce 500, draw one, and now we summon down the blue sky. Okay, so summon down the blue sky, you can add one. Okay, you're adding the indigo eclipse, and now the purple knight four banish itself, banish one magnet, get one red moon. Okay, good. So he's summoning down the Indigo Eclipse here. And the Indigo Eclipse activates effect, move to one more slot, and he will be summoning down the Mag Knight Arbom. Whoa! Okay. Going to the Morning Star. Okay. Apparently, and now summoning down the red beat down attack part attack and boom and the last third round wins goes to ratio whoa